Hey everyone, we're going to find f of g of x and g of f of x. Given our two functions are f of x equals x squared and g of x equals 2x squared plus 2x minus 1. So for the first one, I'm going to use the fact that um, I can rewrite uh, our functions, our compositions this way. Makes it a little easier to digest. So I'm going to write f for the first one f g of x. That shows that g is your inner function, f is your outer function. So basically I'm going to submit, um, substitute g of x which is um, 2x squared plus 2x minus 1. Now we're going to evaluate this. So I take my f of x, my outer function, and I'm going to write this as f of um, 2x squared plus 2x minus 1 equals, and everywhere there's an x, I'm going to input what I'm evaluating, which is 2x squared plus 2x minus 1. Now this is, uh, just write this down twice um, and multiply. So it's just going to be a little tedious. Um, to do this, but we can do this plus 2x minus 1. And just um, distribute this out. So it's 2x squared times all of this. So 1, 2, 3. That's going to give you 4x to the fourth plus 2x cubed minus 2x squared. Now uh, go to this one and multiply 2x times all of this. So it's just 1, 2, 3, and that's going to be plus 4x cubed plus uh, 4x squared um, minus 2x. And finally, we're going to do the negative 1. So negative 1 times all of that, just uh, negate everything. So that's going to be negative 2x squared minus 2x plus 1. Uh, we're going to collect like terms. We only have uh, four of these x to the fourths. Looking at our cubes, that's going to be, how many cubes do we have? So that's 6x cubed. So I'm wondering why. Let me just see. So this should have been a 4. All right. So we did that. I messed up. So that's going to be plus 8x cubed. So I took care of these. Now for my squares, I have these. Um, this is negative 4. Um, uh, this is negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. So basically we have negative 4x squared and then plus 4x squared. That equals 0. So we don't need to write anything for those. That just zeroes out. Now for our x's, we have negative 2x minus 2x. So that's going to be minus 4x. And then we have plus 1. So that's your final answer for f of g of x. Now the next one's easier, thank goodness. So we do the same thing. And this time... We're doing our outer function is g and our inner function is f. So let's substitute our f of x. So we have g, f of x is x squared. Now let's write down our g of x. So our g of x is this. So what I usually do is I just leave it blank. Um, everywhere there's an x, I leave it blank. And then I'm going to... Uh, substitute the x squared for my x. And that's going to give you uh, 2x to the fourth plus 2x squared minus 1. So that's going to equal your g of f of x. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.